Jank Odo moment. After that, I shall say, or Cynthia will say, that was excellent, truly, an outstanding battle. You gave the support of your Pokemon needed to maximize their power and guide them through research need to ensure victory. They, you have both passion and calculus, calculating coolness. Together, you and your Pokemon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in this, crowning the Sinnoh's new champion. Come with me, we'll take the lift. Now, in Dobbin and Pearl, you have this cool elevator surrounding. You just have the regular elevator. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's go in. Oh yeah. The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Steven, your last battle was splendid. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Hmm. <laughs> the child I enlisted from my, from my Pokédex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness the child's crowning glory. Steven, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown up into a real champion. Professor, you still enjoy that enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Steven, st stop. Step this way, please. Yeah, please join us. Professor, Ron, please join us. This is a cool floor. It's all shiny. No matter how many times I come here, I always find myself standing up shorter than usual. It's a natural reaction, Professor. This room is leg legacy to the hopes, dreams, and struggles of Pokemon and their trainers to excel. Stephen, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names will be recorded from post post postor posterity here. What will what you are leaving are the memories of your adventure so far. It's time to record that your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that grow with you through many challenging battles. This machine will make a permanent record of that achievement. Okay, here we go. Okay. Do Discharger, really good Pokemon. He was there till the end. Awesome. Giant Grotto, my second Pokemon, I think. No, my third Pokemon, actually. Yay. Okay, I've almost now I traded him, and I can never change his nickname. He is good. Iron Wings was my starter. Been there from start to end. Flareon, my fire type. He was the flame one. He brought the flame to the game. In darkness, I called him as a shiny. I was wondering what you want to use him on my team, but I ended up doing that because he's a shiny and he's awesome. He ended up being my um, flying type too. So, thank you everyone who watched my Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. It took me 45 um, hours and 13 minutes to beat this. Huzzah, huzzah, wow. Okay. 40 oh, that's Okay, <laughs> whatever. Okay, now I'm only going to show the top screen for. Um, credits, because I don't want to film the bottom screen, but basically on the bottom screen, you'll be riding on your bicycle. I just don't want to mess up the camera and all that. So, yeah, it's saving our record and data. Now, here's the point where we just expl we just share, or I just tell you guys, um, my final thoughts about this walkthrough guide. It's number six, so, yeah, I completed six walkthroughs after this video has been uploaded. Nice. This beautiful sky. And right down there you'll see yourself, but I don't want to film that. Oh, okay. I had fun with this walkthrough, honestly. Why is there glares on my screen? Dang it. Okay. But, I had so much fun. Um, even though this is probably my longest walkthrough, because I started this in 2011, honestly. Right after Diamond and Pearl. And maybe it was um, right after um, yeah, Diamond of Pearl, which is actually in 2008. Hmm, because I remember I actually started this in like November of 2010 or something like that. But yeah, I think this walkthrough could have been 
better in some cases, but I'm so glad how it turned out. And I hope you guys did too. So I'm going to, I made a lot of changes. I, mean, I had intros at the beginning of the video. Um, I had, I had sidebars. I had, I don't know, like stuff like that. And it all just changed at the end. But I'm glad this walks you guys finally over. I mean, I still might do the after game. I'm just not sure yet. So I just hope that you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. It took me a long time to render out these videos, and overall, it was pretty fun. I really like doing this walk too. It was nice. Now, I want to know what you guys thought about this walk. What was your favorite part, and what were your favorite moments? Like, I want to hear back from you guys, because I had a lot of fun doing this. I found it to be very interesting. And if you're wondering about where my next walks are going to be, I'm honestly not sure yet, so we're just going to have to see. I just, I had really fun, uh, fun with this, even though this was camcorder, even though this was filmed with my camera, I still thought it had a really good quality and stuff, so that's cool. Um, if I were to pick my favorite part, just out of the blue, um, what was it? It's hard to say, actually. Probably getting my abominable snow in my car. Maybe stop uh, getting my snow was one, and getting giant girdle as my turtle was one. So that's cool. Oh, one of my favorite parts actually was when I caught my shiny zoo bat. That was awesome. My first ever shiny. I got, I've ran, uh, well, I've had like three attempts on shinies, but two of them being in Ruben's Pokemon Ruby. Um, in Savolt Canyon, south of Savolt Canyon. No, no, that wasn't it. Um, Magma Springs, or I forget what that place was, where there's the grass, where you have to jump over all those ledges, where I found a shiny Numble, and then in Pokemon, and then in Victory Road, I found a shiny Aeron, but both I couldn't, ca I didn't catch, well, I caught the Numble, but I actually started the game, so yeah, I was unable to catch the Aeron, though, but then again, in, but then in Platinum, I ran into, a, um, Shiny Zubat, and I caught it, so that was really cool. It's all, it's all quiet and stuff. It's all quiet and peaceful now. He's going in the door. Okay, Finn. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you, everyone, who watched my Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Yeah.